everyone. This is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on ticker TUP or Tupperware brands. So massive explosion in after hours yesterday. So they came out and made an announcement that they are doing some debt restructuring. So it says um, Tupperware brands stock climbed more than 40% in extended trading after um, the company announced this debt restructuring agreement. The surge sent the stock hurtling toward a nine month high. It says here the agreement provides for the reduction or reallocation of 150 million in interest and fees and an extension of the stated maturity of approximately 348 million of principal and reallocated interest and fees to fiscal year 2027 with payment in kind or PIK interest. So, um, you know, definitely a short term, this helps them out a little bit, um, but it looks like they've still got to pay back debt. It's just kind of being pushed out to 2027. Uh, Tupperware also announced the reduction of amortization payments required to be paid through the fiscal year 2025 by approximately 55 million and immediate access to a revolving borrowing capacity of approximately 21 million. Uh, so a statement here from Tupperware, I'm confident that this agreement provides us with the financial flexibility to continue executing on our near-term turnaround efforts, as well as our long-term strategy to create a global omnichannel consumer brand. So that's from the CFO. Um, it says in April, so this is still what I'm concerned about here. I mean, this is good news uh, for, you know, part of the balance sheet, I guess. Liabilities are one you know, part of the financials or the fundamentals here. But it says in April, Tupperware issued a going concern, essentially cautioning that it could go bust or bankrupt. Um, also on Thursday, Tupperware said that its second quarter earnings report will be filed late. I don't even think we have the first quarter report. So um, it also says here that Tupperware explained that it is unable to file its report for the quarter ended by July 1st. Tupperware cited the time and effort required to complete its consolidated financial statements for its Form 10-K annual report um, for the year ending 2022 and the 10-Q for the quarter ended April uh, 1st, 2023. The company will be unable without unreasonable effort or expense to complete and file the quarter two Form 10-Q within the prescribed time period. Um, the company is continuing its restatement of previously issued financial statements. So those are the statements that are fake. The numbers are not correct. Um, you know, they've got years of financial statements that are uh, bogus that they're trying to fix and reissue. So, you know, I know this is good news. Uh, maybe in the short term it might help them out a little bit. But there's a lot more to the fundamentals of the company that needs to be fixed. So on this news, you can see the massive explosion here. I was kind of bummed because when I saw this thing hit above the $7 mark and then kind of close, I think, in the mid sixes or so at the end of uh, what was it? Yeah, where did they close up here around 666 or something like that? I was kind of bummed because I was like, man, they're trading just below that seven mark. This would be great to go out and sell a seven call because it's going to be almost at the money and we get a lot of money for that call. And then they died off. So they couldn't even hold that level. So now it's like, God, they're down in the mid fives right now. So, you know, some good news for sure. But again, they're still up almost a thousand percent in two weeks. So this typical penny pumper ape action, it's not going to hold fundamentals are you know not supporting this type of a move here so this is typical we see it so many times we saw be big recently right explode from like a buck to five dollars and yeah what happened there at like 50 or 60 cents now on the otc so um you know for me i'm gonna keep selling calls if they make another pump up here to six seven i'm gonna keep selling calls and just wait for you know this stupid uh price action we're seeing here these crazy runs uh, to kind of die off and i'm also curious to kind of see what the short interest is going to be because um, that data is going to be released soon too and i'm betting with this massive explosion we've seen here a lot of the shorts have covered so we'll kind of see what that data looks like i'll continue to keep you updated here on ticker tup or tupperware brands please like this video please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed hit that notification bell appreciate you for taking the time to watch this talk to you soon